My name is Paul Byrne. I'm one of the founders of Tin IoT. We have developed a supply chain visibility platform that tracks uh, mobile assets. Um, things, physical things that move around global supply chains, things like uh, containers, bins, skips, tools, um, things like that. Our solution involves a combination of hardware and software. So hardware devices attached to the industrial asset. The software takes the raw data from the devices and processes it into actionable insight that the customer can use to drive value. The hardware device uses a combination of uh, of wireless technologies to deliver a geolocation of where the asset is at, uh, at re in real time effectively. The new technology, if you like, um, arises from the emergence of low power networks. So we're working with Sigfox. Um, this um, enables assets like this um, to, to be tracked in real time that have, where it's never been possible to do it before. So that's what underpins the solution. Um, but we're also using a combination of uh, Bluetooth low energy, um, Wi-Fi and GPS depending on the particular use case and the circumstances. Uh, the software application um, effectively at its most basic um, level takes in the data from the devices in terms of a, a time um, and a date stamp. We can take in uh, data from multiple, uh, multiple sources via, uh, via different APIs. We cleanse that data, we process it into a database and we then present it back um, to the customer using a, using a BI tool. So we'll be able to show them um, at, at its most basic level um, where their assets are on a map, um, which is transformational in this industry by the way. Um, we're able to show them um, how long they've been there we're able to enable them to deliver for them a single view of inventory so they can balance supply and demand, fulfill more customer orders in a more cost efficient way. And we are able to identify when assets get lost and stolen by tracking those assets to their ultimate destination, enabling recovery. The technology that we're using is new. so. Uh, Previous wireless technology has not been able to track uh, assets of this type. The only historical alternative has been cellular GPS, which is obviously the, the technology we use in our mobile phones, which is too expensive. But most importantly, it's too power hungry for a, for a physical asset that has no independent power. And so um, there's no viable battery solution that's enabled this to happen in any, um, in any commercially applicable way historically. So um, we're using low power networks, they're in the process of being laid down globally, so you couldn't really have done what we're doing before now, that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is we are deep industry experts, so we understand in detail the industry sectors in which this solution will deliver value, um, how they work operationally but also how they think and how to enable and deliver a product um, that will result in successful change in industry environments that don't like change very much and that are traditionally resistant to, uh, to new technology. We have a working solution in place. We are tracking um, large container skips for one of the UK's uh, national waste management companies. The hardware device uh, is in place and working. The version one software application um, is in place and working. Um, it hasn't yet had the infrastructure built into it to make it scalable, um, but we're able to deliver fundamentally um, mapping and reports to the customer to show, to show them where their assets are, what condition they're in and what location they're in. We, there is a roadmap um, in the short and the longer term that will see the solution um, transform to much more of a, uh, an operational uh, solution that these businesses can use to arrive lots of other areas of value. Um, for example, analysis that looks at utilisation um, and profitability of an asset that allows the uh, design of different pricing models, um, the addition of functionality to enable uh, the vehicles that the assets are carried on to also be tracked in real time, um, and many other things besides. We 
What we like about Startup Bootcamp IoT is its specific vertical focus. We incorporated our company uh, where, we, where we're from in the northwest of England. Um, there is not much of an IoT ecosystem in that part of the world. Um, there is a real network around this program that can add tangible and substantial value to what we're doing by challenging all of the fundamental assumptions that we've made and that is a, that is a big deal to us, um, very, uh, very relevant. Um, we, we already have customer projects and so we're in a position where we need to uh, reshape the, the product and improve the product based on that feedback and get ourselves to a point where we're investment ready. The programme, the timing of the programme is perfect to enable us to do that whilst taking in um, a massive amount of expertise that gives us the best chance of uh, realising our ambition to make a successful business.